The influencer who refuses to shower has morphed into his final form of fungi and rot. Not only is he pheromone maxing, but claims now that he's apparently radiation maxing. And the filth has gotten so bad that he's actually received a warning on his account. And this episode might just be the most bizarre one yet. So make sure you watch until the end. Alright guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Holy moly, where to begin? <laughs> when we last left off, this guy's tongue was literally peeling backwards and I'm pretty sure there's some sort of living fungi on it. A lot of you guys commented down below letting me know that he had mouth thrush which I wasn't aware of. But regardless I think it's a little bit more than thrush. It's more like every single disease and bacterial infection that's ever existed is living on that man's tongue. Am I an Omega male ladies? I mean imagine making out with him. The mutation process you'd go through after would probably be pretty painful. Look guys, we've been through this journey together, alright? We've watched his TikToks, which are absolutely diabolical. And he has posted a couple of new TikToks, but that's not why I'm here today. I have a devastating surprise for you. I have three hours of content from this dude's live stream, and it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> How to sum up this dude's live stream with one word? would probably be hemorrhoids. I literally got a list right here where I clipped out the best bits and we're going to react to them today and go through them and have a nice little wonderful family friendly conversation about it. But he spoke about his piles, his techniques on pheromone maxing, responded to some of the bullies that he's dealing with, spoke about how he's apparently radiation maxing now. This guy wants to take over the world. We've seen him go through his different phases of evolution but now it's officially transformed itself into its own hive mind. And I believe the pheromone maxer, the tongue of the scent, will not stop until the whole the world has consumed itself with scarlet rot. But this video is probably gonna be the sickest one yet, just warning you, alright? So you, you are aware now, okay? I have warned you, don't pretend in the comment section like I didn't warn you, alright? Now Fluff Dumpster, if you don't know who he is, he's a TikToker who claims he's pheromone maxim where he's basically exiled himself from the world of showering. Now the bloke hasn't showered in a couple of months and he believes that the smell of bum hole sweat has left the ladies wanting some more. And I'm not even over exaggerating when I say bum hole sweat, the guy literally smells like a human asshole. He even said on his live stream he doesn't even wipe. I mean, to not wipe your ass after going to the toilet. What kind of filthy animal does that? But look guys, I'm sorry, okay? There's probably new viewers watching this video, so I have to show his tongue, okay? It's, it's, it's the sickest thing I've seen in the last decade. If you don't want to see it, look away now. But you're going to look, in you? Because it's that disgusting. It's one of those things where it's that disgusting, you just have to look. It's completely numb, and it's like my tongue is falling apart. Ugh, shit smell. Is that where the smell of shit is coming from? Ugh, 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 you smell like shit, man. Ooh. Soldiers, grab your weapons. It's time to slay the beast. The reload time on this isn't very good, is it? So, it's not exactly great, is it? I mean, why are we lying to ourselves? The dude has smeg on his tongue. <laughs> I mean, if you were to receive a kiss from this dude, he would one-shot you. But he claims that the reason for his thrush on his tongue is because, uh, you know, well, he hasn't brushed his teeth in a couple of days. But that's not a couple of days build-up, my friend. That is weeks of not brushing your teeth. I bet the bloke flosses his teeth with the animal hair he finds in his carpet. <laughs> and if you're ever wondering how this abomination was created, just take a look at his dad. It explains everything. The guy is an empty shell of an animal carcass. Ready, everybody, say hi to Isaac's dad. Holy shit. Mother of Christmas Christ! That dude is either high on life or he's got chemical poisoning from his son's armpits. I mean, I don't even think you could class him as a living entity at this point. I think he's just become part of the furniture. You know, he also uploaded a TikTok licking a dollar bill and he claimed all he could think about while licking the dollar bill was all the hot ladies that have touched it. As an Omega male? You know, I'm not even scared of gems. I just imagine all the hot ladies the hot single ladies that have touched that have touched this bill. I mean, dude, how do you even know where that dollar bill has been? For all you know, it could have been a construction worker sniffing knot. He also had cradle cap as well, which is apparently when your skull starts to flake. <laughs> I mean, you know, guys, this is like, I'm sorry, right? I have the most fun filming these videos, but also I feel so sick after. Like, I feel like my body is rejecting itself. But I feel like he doesn't even need to ask the question on why is this happening to me. I'd say it's pretty obvious, wouldn't you? The guy doesn't shower. He, he doesn't wash. He is the pheromone maxer. He is the final boss. The dude has a health bar above his head if you look closely. And no matter what weapon you bring to the battle, whether it be soap or Febreze, it just does no damage. 
The guy has just become a walking blob of fungi. But guys, you know, the live stream is going to be the best part of this, all right? And that's coming later up in the video. However, we do have a few TikToks to go through. And they're just... I mean, it's just as bad as the rest. And look, this guy's stench is so powerful, it is possible to actually smell and taste him through the screen. So if you need to arm yourselves with one of these, I won't be judging. I do prefer mine automatic, so I'll be having one of these. And, uh... Oh, shit. I need to reload. Oh, the smell is getting in. Oh. Can you hear me? Where are you? I can't see this. If you keep putting... Toilet paper in the goddamn washing machine, you're gonna pay for a new one. Um, whoa. Okay, first things first, let's address his location. He seemed to have burrowed himself in some sort of crevice. Second of all, this guy's put in a uh, shitty toilet paper in his washing machine. Ugh. Just, just why would you put shitty toilet paper in with your clothes in the washing machine? I mean, do you want to smell like shit? Sometimes I do feel like this guy is using the excuse of pheromone maxing just to justify the reason why he smells like a pig's anus. But, you know, according to him, women just love the smell of an anus. So, maybe he's onto something. A lot of you have told me to stop wiping, um, because it helps with the pheromone maxing. I mean, what good could come from not wiping your ass apart from smelling like crap? <laughs> what I mean? And then he followed up with another TikTok being really angry at all the haters and bullies. But before we crack on with the video, guys, I do want to ask you to subscribe to the channel because we're on 95k right now. We're 5k away from 100k. We've nearly done it! Come on, so hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel and you want to be a part of the family. Hit those bell notifications as well. So I want to thank those who did actually subscribe to the channel. Comment down below letting me know. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy my other ones as well. So, you know, and what's the harm? You can always unsubscribe if you don't enjoy. Let's get involved. I am sick and tired of you bullies in the comments telling me to shower. I have had it up to here, and my maximum is up to here. Okay. This dude is about to unleash his wrath on us, and I'm not having it. I'm armed to the teeth, Pheromone Maxa. Don't come near me. <laughs> I'm going to have another meltdown, because I do not know how much more of this I can take before I delete my channel. <gasps> Whoa! And is there anything worse than that? Deleting this channel? How would I gain subscribers then? But the Fluff Dumpster actually did receive a warning on his TikTok account while he was live streaming for sexual content. Don't ask me what was going on in that live stream. And he actually posted a TikTok responding to it. Being really angry. Beating the shit out of his bed. <laughs> you bullies and trolls in the comments, you were reporting my live stream. And honestly, I'm sick and tired of this harassment, okay? I was live streaming for 27 minutes and then they decided no because of sexual services or something like that. I was offering dating advice to, to beta males. Nah, dude, I'm sorry. You didn't get a warning for sexual services. The reason you got a warning is because TikTok wanted to protect the world from your advice. I mean, let's be honest, you know, if we did follow his advice, you know, we'd all be walking around the world smelling like an ass crack. <laughs> Although, you know, in reality, I don't think he deserved to get his live stream reported. He wasn't actually doing anything wrong. And I think people are taking his content a little bit too seriously. You know, yeah, he, you know, he smells like fucking garage mold, but he shouldn't be deplatformed. Mind you, though, got to admit, those punches are pretty wildfire. If this guy was getting robbed, they wouldn't stand a chance. Hey, you, give me your phone, bitch. <laughs> Big mistake, my friend. Huh? You mess with the tongue of the stench. Oh, God. Oh. Ah, take these pheromones. Oh. 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 No, no more Tell stench. No, no more. No more. Yeah, take my ass, smell. But now would probably be a good time to check out the live stream clips. And let me tell you this, right? It is the most god awful thing I've ever seen. It, j I, there's no words. I mean, where to begin? I've got hemorrhoids plus shitting in trash can. Yeah, but yeah, they they did talk about that. So I don't know which one to look at first. <laughs> They're all pretty interesting. What about this one? Peanut butter. Shall we just indulge ourselves? Oh God. <laughs> so in this part of the live stream, he handed his phone to his mother and then he just disappeared. He said he was gonna get a snack. Okay. Okay. Single, we, I am single, my mother's not. You guys think I'm gonna work a job. Yeah, but some of them, 
you know, you don't work like full time. No, no, I work part time at four different jobs. <laughs> Whoa, right, hang on. What kind of wild animal comes in with a bit of peanut butter plastered on a bit of tissue? It's not even as if it's dirty, it's just the choice. Why, why not just use a spoon? <laughs> even a fork, something. A bit of tissue paper that you'd use to wipe your ass? <laughs> Really? <laughs> but in this next part of the live stream, he shows us uh, his hair routine, which now after seeing the clip, I now understand why his hair is like that. His hair looks like a piece of rug. You know what I mean? <laughs> Take a shower, bud. I am smooth. <sighs> okay. I don't need to take a, sh a shower. That's f that's for betas to do, and I'm actually an Omega male. <laughs> <laughs> that is clinically insane. Bro, you had thrush in your tongue and you're rubbing it through your hair? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so. Gotta moisten up the tongue and then you. You know. And it keeps it not. It keeps the pheromones in it. No wonder this guy's hair is so greasy. You can literally shelf this guy's grease in the cooking section of a store. You know, you got duck grease and goose grease? Yo! Pheromone grease. <laughs> Guy is talking about how his hair keeps pheromones as well. Nah, man. That's just the tonsil stones. I beg this guy uploads a TikTok about tonsil stones. That'll be the worst one yet. <laughs> if this dude posts a TikTok about his tonsil stones, I might just have to be placed in the recovery position. Wash your hair. I'll show you how I wash my hair. Get some in the back this time. Oh, my guy did it again. <laughs> oh. Dude can't stop, man. I, I swear he's addicted. This is an addiction problem. Yeah, so what? I'm addicted to the smell of ass. And that lick was very different to the other one. It's almost as if he was powering up for it. You know? Like he was flexing on us. Did you feel flexed on? Because I, I did. What's up, ladies? <laughs> yeah. Now I smell like a hot piece of ass. But speaking of hot, sweaty ass, shall we now have a conversation about his hemorrhoids? <laughs> hey, there's a first say in for everything on this channel. Before it was, shall we talk about the guy's tongue? I thought that was bad enough. Now we're gonna have a literal convo about the man's hemorrhoids. Um, don't, don't mind the mess, you know. It's been a while since I've cleaned. I don't really believe in cleaning. Well, there we go. That's what I was talking about earlier. Remember the animal hair in the carpet? Hey, that's what I was talking about. He said he didn't believe in cleaning as well. What the f does that mean? <laughs> you don't believe in cleaning? So what does that mean then? You just don't clean? You just never cleans? He never cleans anything. I mean, the house he's living in, it must contain live rot that's aggressively spread into the foundation. This is definitely how Monster House 2 starts. I mean, the house is just alive and this guy is the centerpiece. <laughs> You walk into his house and he's just there with just bacteria and fungi coming off the walls attached to him like Vecna from Stranger Things. But even after our conversation, I still don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Um, I do not wipe. Yeah, I... I tried using those dude wipes, but, um, the thing about wiping, it's kind of like flossing. In that if you go for a really long time without wiping... Um, the next time that you do it, like flossing, you will bleed. Well, right, yeah, but, yo, I, whoa, hang on a second now. Yo, 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 you, did you just say if you go a really long time without wiping? When is that ever an occasion where you don't wipe when you shit? What? I, I just, I just can't understand how he says it so casually as well, like, yeah, haven't wiped my ass in a week. Bro, are you trying to smell like literal human feces? Because <laughs> you're getting there, man. They're gonna have to open Pheromones Anonymous recovery group just for you. Actually, I solved my hemorrhoids by popping them back in. And I popped them back in for about a week and a half. And ever since then, I've had no hemorrhoids. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it's good to be a pheromone maxer sometimes. Sorry, but just to clarify, did you just say that you popped your hemorrhoid back in? I don't, know if that's, I don't know if that's physically possible. Is it? Let's have a look. God damn it. Got up my Google search history. Is it possible to pop a head my pocket? <laughs> I'm losing the will to live. Even though prolapsed hemorrhoids come out of the bottom, you may be able to carefully push them back in yourself. Damn. You can, you can do that? Wow. How very, very interesting. 
Yeah, but now, nah, in all seriousness, guys, it, you know, if you've had hemorrhoids, <laughs> feels a very inappropriate conversation to have right now. I'm very sorry, but I wouldn't advise popping them back in. I, I wouldn't advise that. Now about wiping, I thought that hemorrhoids did come back, but actually, it's just that, like, my, you know, asshole, um, <laughs> it was very delicate because it had not been wiped and there was like a layer protecting it. Really? Did you just say you have a protective film over your asshole? Bro, it's not a protective film, it's a layer of ass crap. Ew, my guy got shit ass. Ew, my guy got ass crap. <laughs> my guy's suffering from shit ass. <laughs> my guy got that crap ass. I've said it once, I'll say it again. This man is just a brute force of nature. <laughs> This guy's taking it back a few steps in evolution. He's going back to the caveman era. I feel like the block has only just discovered fire. <laughs> I do not wipe anymore. I did use those dude wipes, but they claw. <laughs> it's not funny, my mom tells me. It... It's not funny. The washing machine's broken because he, was, he wasn't scared. He was insecure. He was insecure, so he didn't want to flush the wipes because he didn't want anybody to see them if they didn't go down. Don't even get me started by him in the trash can so people didn't hear the plop. Dude looks humiliated right now. Mum just going in on him. <laughs> Bro's a sh in trash cans. Let's all point and laugh. Shit ass, man. <laughs> oh, we should all go over right now and comment on Isaac's TikTok saying thank you for the laughs. This guy's hilarious, man. I just love him, honestly. He's just, it's just the worst. Oh, he knows what he's doing, though. He knows what he's doing. Now is the moment I actually realize I might not be able to cover every single point here I've got in the live stream. Because we've only done three so far, and there's 20. <laughs> so, might be, have to be a part two. Let's just look at the next one. The girls at school identify me by my pheromonal signature, and if I were to shower and wash away my skin microbiome, then you know, people wouldn't really recognize who I am without my smell. The girls recognize this man by the smell of his pheromonal signatures, ladies and gentlemen. Meaning what? The smell of a rectal sleeve? <laughs> I don't think this guy realizes that the reason people recognize him is due to the lingering smell of shit ass he leaves behind. <laughs> yeah, you recognize my smell, ladies? Yeah! You know what time it is. Time to eat my ass, ladies. Anyway, I've got a lot more to go through, but unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have time in this video. So if you do want to see the follow-up, let me know, and uh, I can make another one. With that said, guys, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Check out these other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy them a lot. The link to the Pheromone Maxa videos will be in the playlist, but, you know, if not, a couple of other ones here for you. Thank you very much.